Hello everyone and welcome to the This Is Light Show. Today we'll be filled with interesting novelties of modular lighting instruments and of course some crazy games. I'm super excited about today and I think our audiences too. Our first guest is Alain Gilles. As a designer, Alain believes in giving people the tools to define their own vision and tell their story. He likes that once you start playing with a product, you discover endless possibilities. And his latest design, Extruded, has those possibilities and gives you options. Alain believes in products that are long-lasting and can evolve and change over time. Hi Ale, welcome on the This Is Light Show. You are our very first guest here today, so I'm gonna explain some of the rules of the game to you. During our interview, the lights in the studio can turn up red. Okay. And when this happens, that means it's a quick round of this or that questions, all right? Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so of course, we're very happy that you're here and you're probably very excited about your launch, Extruded. It's an architectural pendant luminaire developed in cooperation with modular lighting instruments. I would love to know some more about the inspiration you had behind this design. It's really talking about night and day, about basically playing with the natural light and then also playing with the artificial light at night or whenever it's needed. By natural light, I mean that the extrusion, the, the basically the body of the lamp, mm -hmm. which is extruded, is going to reflect, is going to play with the daylight as the sun, for instance, goes around a house and turns and it's going to reveal the light differently and make it look very soft. And of course, at night, you're going to light the thing on, so then you'll have a light on. Yeah. Then it's, it's um, if you think about it, it's really very much like a spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, an extruded spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, and this is the extrusion, so you can create different lengths. And then you just kind of plug in elements. So in this case, the lampshades mm -hmm. or... Here, the hook, mm -hmm. which the hook is really designed as if it was kind of a rope that you're going to hold in between your hands. So it's not the kind of visually technical hoop, uh, but it enables people to actually easily uh, put the little cord in which is going to hold the lamp in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, the details are very refined. And, and I'd love to know, is it available in different colors? Yes, definitely. That was really the idea to be able to mix and match. But so you have really classical colors like the, the black, like the full white, mm -hmm. or you have more shiny finishes that allows you to play also with the reflection of the light and create certain uh, atmospheres. Oh, great. And what about different sizes? You have three different sizes. So uh, it's like from 30 centimeters to 60 to 90. Oh, the lights turned red. Are you ready for the quick round? Okay. <laughs> okay. This or that, improve or innovate? Uh, innovate, ideally. <laughs> day or night? Uh, probably day. Modular or monolithic? Ooh, I think I have to say modular, right? Yeah. <laughs> Spring or fall? Uh, fall, because of the colors. Art festivals or music festivals? Let's say for art festival. <laughs> Television show or movie? Movies. Drawing or painting? Uh, I'm pretty bad at both of them, so none of them. <laughs> <laughs> never designing light fixtures or never designing furniture? Ooh. Uh, uh, stopping part of my life? I don't know, none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, that was hard. How do you yeah. feel about it? Good. So where were we? We were talking yeah. about um, the different sizes that are available. You have three different sizes. So uh, you cut the spaghetti differently. <laughs> so it's either 30, 60, or 90 centimeters long. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so a lot of possibilities. Of course, when you play with them, you can combine them together over yeah. different uh, things. Yes. Yeah. Great. And um, what is the type of light that comes out of the cone? Well, it's a, it's a LED light, which has been especially developed for this light. It's a really good quality light. This is important, you know, the, 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 the light that it emits, but also the warmth. And uh, in this case, because of the way the lampshade is finished with the brushed aluminum anodized in most cases, you kind of feel the light when it hits the lampshade. So basically, you, you, you feel almost the work that has been done on, on the, the conical shape of the lampshade. Yeah, and I heard also it has warm dim technology. What does that mean? Exactly. Well, the, the warm dim technology allows people to actually uh, dim it mm -hmm. and to create a much warmer light effect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what about the installation? How do you mount this beauty? 
Well, mounting, it's, it all depends on the type of ceiling that you have. So it's either a ceiling where you can, you can hide everything in, all the technical elements, so basically the driver, which is always the difficult part to hide, or then you have another way to connect it with the remote driver, and then you see a little bit more what's happening outside, or then you can have a, a kind of a full module on top, which is that connected to the ceiling, where then you have the driver inside. Mm -hmm. And does it also have a Kasambi driver? Yeah, well, you have different ways to actually uh, dim the light, so different uh, drivers that can dim the light uh, in three different manners. And then, indeed, you have that Kasambi technology that allows people to play uh, with the light and actually control the light from their own devices, which is very neat, I think. Um, so it's available in different sizes, glare-free, very intimate lighting. And I wonder, did you have a specific setting or location in mind while you were designing? In this case, I'm kind of thinking of huge restaurants with maybe just uh, tables of twos everywhere. And then instead of having, for instance, the candle, you would have just a pendant light on top. And because you could also have long lengths and because it reflects the light visually, uh, anything that happens around it in extrusion, you can then define some really vertical elements and can also can almost define the new architecture in the restaurant if there are a lot of them, yeah, arisen basically, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Yeah. It's such a beautiful design. Thank you. And thank you for this interview, Alain. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to welcome our host, Tom. Unfortunately, our graceful assistant Bianca is not available today, but Marcel from our technical department is really happy to help. Take it away, Tom. Hi, everyone. Today, I have the honor to present you a new Modipoint recessed accessory. You have seen it rectangular and round, holding two or three jack fixtures in the surface. You've seen it recessed with a small trim and extremely minimalistic trimless. Both surface and recessed can be used with or without one of the three extension sticks. But what you haven't seen is the new little cove-like base, recessed. Thank you, Marcel. This new deep recessed accessory is available in white structure or black structure with a trim or without a trim, and in a one or a two lamps version. All of these accessories can be used with the existing jack fixtures or can be combined with one of the three extension sticks. Marcel, let's have a look at all the possibilities. Let's spin the wheel. Marbulito. With a simple plug and play system, you can integrate the Marbulito in the Modipoint LED Deep Recessed. You can also use the Marbulito suspension or you can use the Modipoint stick to combine it. Marcel, let's have a look at the other possibilities. Minute. Let's see if we can mix Minute with a double Modipoint LED Deep Recessed. Wow, also super easy. And look at the adjustability. With the Minute, you can also use the Minute suspension or use one of the Modipoint sticks and click it into the Modipoint Deep Recessed. Marcel? Let's spin it again. Medar. Our beloved Medar family always needs to be combined with the Modipoint stick to ensure its adjustability. This also works very well. Marcel, I'm just astonished. It's amazing. All the possibilities is just great. Welcome to our game, The Spiral of Death. Our charming assistant, Marcel, will clarify the rules. It's simple. Finish the game 
without touching the spiral with the metal rod. If you touch the spiral, you'll go back to start. Jonas on the left, Fred on the right. The winner will be the employee of the month. So, success guys! 3, 2, 1, start! <laughs> Yes! Fred made it to the finish. He is now officially employee of the month. Well Thank done, you. Fred. Our next guest is an old acquaintance of modular lighting instruments. He likes to experiment with geometrical shapes and the way they interact with one another. Passionate as much about design as the engineering side of things, he is the mind behind the multi-award winning modular designs Semi, Marble, Shelby and Dent. Let's give him a warm welcome, Jeffrey Heijo. Hi Jeffrey, welcome. Nice to have you back on the show. How are you? Good. Hi Alice. So, Jeffrey, we have the honor to discover your new designs, the Compass and Hula Hoop. These products will open the world for the suspended luminaires. So can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, you have a Compass. So what is Compass? It's actually a ceiling base with multiple connection points on which you can hang suspended luminaires like this one, for example, the placebo. So, and it's really flexible because of this row of teeth you see here around the compass. So you could hang your suspended luminaire here or here. So it's really up for you to decide to where to hang it. Uh, you can have, for example, three luminaires at a certain height, or you can play with that height, mm -hmm. or uh, hang more fixtures, or have different designs on it. So it's really a way to make it your own architectural chandelier. And then to take compass to the next level, you have hula hoop, which is actually an impressive large metal ring. And what it actually does, it, it extends the, the reach of the compass so you can hang your fixtures further away from the center of the compass. Very nice. So how did you decide to, to design such a ceiling base? What are the advantages? The main advantage actually is that it, it really solves a problem. You have a lot of spaces where you have a single electrical point and you feel the need to have multiple light sources. On top of that, it's fully surface mounted, so there is no need to drill large holes or to have like a false ceiling. And um, the driver is included, so you can connect it directly to the mains voltage, mm -hmm. and it will be available in three dimming solutions. And on top of that, there will be a Kasami version added, so you can control it via smart devices, sensors, or even voice control. And then the main reason, like already mentioned, it, you can really create your own architectural chandelier. Yeah, that's great. I can imagine it's gonna trigger a lot of people to get creative. So I'm wondering in what dimensions are they available? Any different colors? Yeah, okay, so the, the ceiling base, the compass itself, will be 34 centimeters. Oh, the lights are red. Quick round, are you ready? Yes. Okay, see into the future or read other people's minds. Read other people's minds. Design or engineering? Design. Skater or scooter? Skater. Improve or innovate? Innovate. Marcel Duchamp or Andy Warhol? Andy Warhol. Dark or light? Dark. Shower or bath? Shower. Gold or silver? Silver. Organic form, abstract form? Organic. Wall or ceiling? Ceiling. See or hear? Hear. Donkey or horse? Donkey. Square or circle? Circle. Wow, that's amazing. We are out of questions. You completely did it. Okay, back to the questions. So where were we? Dimensions and the colors. Yes, like already mentioned, the compass will be 34 centimeters in diameter and the hula hoop will be one meter in diameter. And both will be available in black and white structured powder paint. Great. And so which designs and product families can be combined with this new ceiling base? Originally, when I designed these two, the compass and the hula hoop, I really had in mind the placebo family. Mm -hmm. But while working on it and experimenting, we saw that it really worked well with other families also. So one could say that everybody is invited. So in total, you can have over 10 different designs on, on this system. Uh, so logically, you will have placebo in all its uh, in up and down and it, uh, with all glass accessories and even the shades. 
you will have the smart family, the ball in the two sizes and the tube in the three sizes. Marble is adjustable and fixed and also Minute and Tulip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine I have a lot of space and I want to create some sort of chandelier lighting design. How many individual luminaires can I connect on the compass and what's the maximum? Depending on the design and the, um, the size of that design and the dimming protocol, you can go up to 12 uh, suspended luminaires. Okay, great. So uh, which places do you think are most suitable for this new ceiling base? I mainly see it in residential and hospitality. Um, the compass on its own is, is more neutral, so you could hang it above uh, a dinner table or have it in a hallway or a reception. The moment you add the hula hoop, it really works better in large spaces where you need that eye catcher or create a bigger volume. Well, Jeffrey, thank you so much for coming here to have a chat with us and congratulations again on your design. It's very beautiful. Thank you. This game is called Can You Feel It? Marcel is very happy to assist us once again. Katy, guess the three objects in the box. Let's go. Yeah. Minute. Object two. Start. <laughs> oh my well, God. well, a cute rabbit. Oh, I'd lay it on a lamp. Oh, I'm going to the back. Oh my God. The last object. Oh, what's that? It's like a big What am I saying? It's like a big Oh, I'm going to put it in. Oh, what is that? Does it help? Of me? What is the marbolito? Yes! The marbolito! <laughs> you know your stuff, Cathy. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome back. It's time for our next and last guests of the show. A designer's duo where emotion, discussion, and friction are part of their creative process and it wouldn't work otherwise. The designers of Bold and Tulip now bring us Coco, a perfect example of their style, advanced minimalism. Welcome, Studio Case. Hi, Odin and Yap. Let's talk about Coco. I love the name. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you came up with the name and what it means? Uh, actually, kogel refers to uh, a ball joint. Uh, Kogelgevricht in Dutch means ball joint, which is the actual centerpiece of this luminaire. Uh, as you can see, the kogel is, uh, is, the, is the mechanism which tells the story of this uh, luminaire, functionally but also uh, aesthetically. That was a quite logical name for this luminaire. Because uh -huh, the kogel joint it's like the joint, the wrist joint, the shoulder yeah, joint? Yeah, actually you have one here, you have one in your hip, but it's, uh, it's also an engineering uh, quite familiar mechanism. Uh, and we love to use this uh, for, uh, for a lighting purpose uh, for modeler. Great. And did something inspire you to come to this design or mechanism? I think mainly the, the, the elegance of the mechanism itself. We, uh, we appreciated it. We saw it reflected uh, one day in a cycling trip on, uh, on the Maaslandkering, which is a big uh, water, uh, yeah, how do you call it? Uh, storm barrier. Storm barrier. We just love the simplicity and the looks, how you, how you technically implement it uh, in the design. Yeah, actually, we used to say that this, you, normally people say form follows function, this is form shows function. Mm. Uh, it's really an ode to the mechanism, which is articulated in this uh, in this design, uh, and it's also about freedom. It's uh, you can move it effortlessly every direction you want, uh, and that's uh, that's the beauty and the simplicity of this mechanism reflected in this uh, in this design. I'm curious, what kind of technology is integrated into this luminaire, and how much light comes out of a kogel? It's a surface-mounted luminaire, so everything is integrated. Uh, the driver is integrated, uh, of course the LED uh, PCB is integrated, and it comes with a, a lumen package of 700 lumen in two different color temperatures, and it comes with three different reflectors, and Jaap can show 
how that works because yeah. it's really smart. It has a small magnetic uh, smart connection, so it flips in really nice and easy. And uh, every reflector has three different beam angles. Uh, so you can easily exchange them uh, if you have the need for a different beam angle. Uh, the black ring on the inside of the reflector avoids glare, so that's really comfortable and uh, yeah, pleasurable. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And what about the dimming solutions? The Koga comes with four different dimming solutions, uh, including the smart technology Kasambi uh, dimming solution. Uh, and there is a warm dim uh, function, so uh, once you dim it further, uh, the light temperature becomes uh, warmer for specific romantic settings, mm -hmm. for instance. And is it available in different colors or sizes? Actually, what you see here is uh, what we have, uh, yeah. uh, white, black. Oh, wait a minute, the lights turned red, oh. so it's time for the quick round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Jaap, Vermeer or Rembrandt? Rembrandt. Odin, never designing again or never working together? Uh, ooh, never working together. Ooh, yep. Bloom or blossom? Um, blossom. Odin, bold or tulip? Bold. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Salone del Mobile or Dutch Design Week? Salone del Mobile. Odin, questions or answers? Questions. Yep. Black or white? Uh, white. Odin, upload or download? <laughs> <laughs> I would say download, yeah. Great. And last one, Yap, classic or modern? Modern. Great, okay. Why did Yap get the easy ones? Were they the easy ones? Yeah, I don't definitely. know, I thought they were all pretty tough. <laughs> um, now, we were talking about the colors, so it's black and white, that's what's available? Yeah. Yes, great. And single and double. Oh, yeah, really yeah, interesting. That's uh, quite a difference too. Yeah. Uh, and the, the ball is always in, uh, in brass. Mm -hmm. uh, Beautiful, beautiful design. Now, was there any specific setting or location that you can visualize or imagine the Kogel hanging? When designing it, I had in mind that it could be uh, applicable in a, in a wide variety of settings. So that could be residential, uh, retail, hospitality, uh, small boutique. The version as it is now, uh, uh, ceiling mounted, but wall mounted uh, also makes sense. Also mm -hmm. because of its wide uh, angles you can position it in. Yeah. Uh, so Especially the single one is for wall mounted very, uh, I can see it hanging next to a bed easily. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very versatile uh, and it's a, it's a platform. So who knows what will bring the future. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the design on Kogel. It's very beautiful. Thank you. And thank you for talking with me. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Welcome to Swing the Bag. Meet our contenders, Kevin and Bart. Marcel, hand them over the blindfolds. They are totally in the dark. We also have a little surprise in the form of a petang ball. But that's our little secret. Swing it, Bart. Oh, man. <laughs> Only what is that sucks. was hilarious. <laughs> and now the time has come to say our goodbyes. Thank you Alain Gilles, Jeffrey Huygens, Studio Case, Quizmaster Tom and Marcel. But before we wrap up, don't forget to rate our launch and newest designs. Just scan the QR code at the end of this video or click the link on the webpage of this show. Give your honest feedback and make a chance to win our newest design, The Extruded. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.